Refreshing stories. My name is Hiroshi. I just moved into my dream home that I built up with my beloved wife and daughter. Karin, starting today, we're going to live here. Wow, it's such a big house! We need to go greet our neighbors and introduce ourselves. I'm nervous. My wife Kana is very shy and has a calm personality. It seems she was worried whether she would be able to get along with the fellow moms at Karin's new preschool. I need to do my best so that I can make friends with the moms at the preschool. You don't need to put so much pressure on yourself. You're so sweet, Kana. You'll naturally make a lot of friends. Hello! Nice to meet you. We just moved in next door. My name is Hiroshi Ohira. Sure! Oh yeah, hi! I'm Tatsuma Charai. And this is my wife, Arami. Hi, I'm Arami. Oh my, it looks like your daughter's about the same age as ours. Oh yes, I'm Kano Ohira. Karin is three years old, and we're planning on sending her to the preschool in the neighborhood. Ah, she's the exact same age as our Kirari! And they'll be at the same preschool. Let's be friends, Kana. Y yes, I'm looking forward to it. Aren't you glad, Arami? Here, this is a chicken and vegetable stew that my wife made. If you'd like, have some. Wow, thank you very much. Upon first glance, they seemed a bit like delinquents, but then Mr. and Mrs. Charai were really nice, and our new life in our new home was off to a great start. See? You were able to make a friend straight away. They seem like really great people. Aren't you glad? Yeah, it was just as you said, Hiroshi. I'll do my best so I can be friends with Miss Arami. This chicken and vegetable stew is also really good. It looks like she's good at cooking. Our little girls were going to the same preschool, so it didn't take long for our family and the Charai family to hang out all together. Thank you very much for the stew the other day. It was really delicious. <laughs> it was nothing. Don't mention it. <laughs> it was just from the super... No, never mind. Oh, I would love to try your cooking too, Miss Kana. I'd also love to try it. Can we go over to your house next time, Mr. Hiroshi? Yes, of course. Why don't we have dinner at our place then? Kana and I will cook together. Hiroshi is really good at cooking the meats. Nice! Woohoo! And just like that, we invited the very friendly Charai family into our home for dinner. Now that I think about it, this may have been the beginning of it all. Hey guys, I'm home! Whoa, whoa, Karin! You've really made a mess today. Let's clean up together, okay? Okay, Daddy! I'm sorry, Hiroshi, that it's not cleaned up, and please wait a little bit for dinner, too. Are you okay? Kana, you seem quite tired. Whoa, there's drawings on the walls. Hey, Karin! That's not good! Bad girl! But I didn't do that, was Kirai! Kirai? You mean the Charai's daughter did that? Yes, lately Kirari comes over to play a lot and... I see. If it's troublesome to let their child come in, you can always say no, you know? Yeah, I'll do that. But see, Miss Arami always gives us snacks and secondhand clothes to thank us. She's really kind, isn't she? Sure, yeah. That's nice. What are these snacks? They look gross. And these clothes are full of holes and fireballs! I didn't mind very much at that time, but little by little, the Charai family started to show their pathetic, true nature. Morning, Mr. Hiroshi! Are you going somewhere today? Good morning. We're gonna go to the amusement park as a family. That sounds great! Let us get in the car with you! Six people can fit in that car, right? Oh, but we were planning on our own family outing today. Come on, Kyori. You want to go too, don't you? Oh dear, oh dear. Look how upset she is. <laughs> oh, what are we going to do? <laughs> that day, one thing led to another, and the Charai family ended up joining us. The kids looked like they were having a great time, which was the most important thing. But I didn't think that the Charais were such shameless people. Little Karin is just like her mom. They're both so... <laughs> quiet. Don't you think it's more childlike and better if she was more energetic? Like our Kirai? What? Is... is that so? It doesn't particularly bother me, but... What? It's only lunchtime and you're drinking beer? Hey, Tatsuma, that's not fair. I want to drink too. Ah! <laughs> hey, wait! If you both get drunk, then you won't be able to look after Kirai! Huh? Well, in that case, you and Kana can look after them for us. <sighs> hey, come on, please! Don't get drunk at an amusement park! It's fine. I can watch Kirari and Karin, so you can look after those two. So, like I said, I'm trying to tell you that your parenting isn't good enough, Hiroshi. <laughs> Our little Karin is living freely and doing what she wants. And that's why she's also so smart. <laughs> why am I having to spend my day off taking care of drunk, grown adults? But also, 
There's nothing I should want to learn from your parenting skills. After that, I was very ready to maintain some distance from the Charai family. But apparently, it wasn't that simple for Kana. And I didn't know what to do. I don't think we should get involved with the Charais anymore. Every time you go to pick up Karin from the preschool, they dump Kirai onto you too. And she even destroys our house. And it's a problem, isn't it? I'm used to it by now, so it's fine. Plus, the kids get along really well, so it's hard to say no. Uh, but still, we have to do something. But also, it's getting late. What are you preparing? Oh, there's a flea market at the preschool, right? We're gonna give away this many things? All of this stuff over here, Miss Army asked me to take care of. She said on the day of the flea market that she's busy. Ugh, of course she is. She's forcing you to do all kinds of troublesome things when I'm not there. You really don't need to force it to get along as parents. You can always make friends with the other moms at the preschool, right? Yeah, that's true. But because she's always dressed in such a flashy way, apparently, Miss Army doesn't have any friends at the preschool. They always leave me out, and I was so lonely. I'm so happy that such a nice girl like you became my friend, Kana. She said, When I was a student, because of my family, I was often left out and lonely, so I understand how she feels. I agree with you the most, but I just can't bring myself to ignore her. That's why I just wanted to see how it goes for a little bit longer. I'm pretty sure that the reason why Army was left out has to be because she's a parasite like that. Hmm. I am worried, but I'll respect your wishes, Kana. But if you ever get hurt at any point, I will never forgive them. Thank you, Hiroshi. I'll do my best to find some common ground. I didn't know the details, but because of her family's business in the past, Kana had been ostracized by her classmates in school. Because of that, Kana's understanding of friendships had a few glitches, and I was extremely worried. But I decided to take a step back and watch from afar. Those people pleasers keep looking after Kirari for us, so we can relax all day, even on weekends. It's the best. From now on, we can keep hanging off of those two and squeeze them for every bite we can, so that we can have it easy. <laughs> it wasn't fair that Kana was being forced to handle everything of theirs for the flea market, but thanks to that, good things happen as well. Hiroshi, listen to this. I became good friends with Miss Yamada, who was paired up with at the flea market. We got along really well and talked and laughed a lot. It was so much fun. Oh, that's great, Kana. Looks like your hard work paid off. And then Miss Yamada and I talked about having a barbecue next time with both of our families. Are you free next Sunday? Your best friends already. Of course I'm free. So let's go ahead and... Wait a minute. You better include Arami too. Huh? Mr. Tatsuma? Kana, how could you? Even though you have a best friend right here, I can't believe you would do a barbecue with that woman named Yamada. I want to go with you, too. Miss Arami, wait a minute, are you being jealous? Wow, I'm so happy. Let me ask Miss Yamada if it's okay if you can come with us. Why is that your reaction? Kana grew up in a very wealthy family, so she can be strangely airheaded in some situations. Well, that is part of what I love about her, though. And so... The Charais were eavesdropping on our conversation, and they forced their way into our barbecue plans. I was really not looking forward to it, but today, we decided to go shopping for the barbecue ingredients in their car. Both families had left their kids with their grandparents. Hey Hiroshi, I'm providing the car today, so you better drive at least on the way there. What? But what about the car insurance? You can easily get one day insurance on the internet. Now hurry up and do it! I just want to get through today in peace. All right, all right, I got it. Well then, I'm gonna start the car. Please, put your seatbelts on. Hey, 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 as usual, you're driving like a beginner, Hiroshi. Come on, go a little faster. We don't have the kids today anyway, so let's race over there. No, no, I can't do something that dangerous in somebody else's car. And plus, Kana gets car sick easily, so I'm gonna drive safely. Thank you, Hiroshi, you're always so thoughtful. Hey, come on, why are you two flirting? You're such a loser. I'll drive. Get out, move! What? But you're the one that told me to drive. Whoa! Hey, you're driving way too recklessly! Ah! How is it? My gorgeous handling of the wheel. I'm sure it's way better than your slug husband. <laughs> yeah, Tatsuma, you're the best. Why don't you learn a thing or two from him, Mr. Hiroshi? <laughs> Without listening to my pleas to stop, Tatsuma started driving at an alarming speed. Both Kana and I were flying around like we were on a roller coaster, and we were so dizzy. When at that moment... <laughs> oh no, I've done it! Hey, what have you done? This is bad, this is bad! Everyone? Is everyone okay? Is anyone hurt? Hey, you idiots! Where were you looking when you were driving? Uh, 
This car painted black with tinted windows. Are, are you a gang member? Hey, was it you driving like a complete piece of crap? No, it wasn't. The ones that were driving were these two. That's right. That's right. This wasn't our fault. We didn't do anything. What? <sighs> Sorry. I don't really understand what you're saying. Don't frame us for this. Hey, you. How do you plan on taking responsibility for this? The Charais betrayed me, and this person, who looked like he was a gangster, came closer and in my face, when at that moment... Stop right there! Don't you dare lay a hand on my precious husband! What's this? Why don't you back up, little miss, and stay quiet, madam? What? Madam? Let go of that hand right now, Mal. <laughs> uh, pardon me, madam. I didn't know that he was your husband, <laughs> madam. According to what Kana told me after, Kana's family was the former mob called the Ichigotani Gang. And this guy with a scary face used to be in charge of taking care of her when she was a little girl. His name was Amao Saotome. Now, apparently, he had cleaned his feet of the black market and is working as a chef. Long time no see, Amel. Have you been well? Madam, you've grown to be such a proper, beautiful adult. We are being reunited after 10 years. I almost didn't recognize you. What is this relationship? And she's so different from her usual airheaded Kana, the daughter of a mob leader? And you were looking after her? Oh dear, that's all in the past. Now our family's just a normal flower shop. Flower shop? Well, I have a hard time believing that your husband caused this accident, madam. No matter how you look at him, he seems mild-mannered and kind-hearted. <laughs> I get that a lot. Well then, why don't we check the footage on the drive recorder? Ah, please wait! Not that... Is that some kind of inconvenience to you? Huh? No, not at all. After Mr. Saotome checked the drive recorder, there was crystal clear footage of Mr. Tatsuma driving recklessly, and Kana and me terrified as we were thrown around in the back seat. I knew you were the one that did this. And not only that, but terrifying madam like that. I've had enough. You better pay up the cost of damages immediately. Uh, 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 I'm sorry. Actually, I don't have insurance, then I can't pay it. What? Did you say you can't pay it? Please, please just let us live. C Kana, help us! I guess we have no choice. You can't give what you don't have. You're right. There's no choice. Well then, why don't I have you both come with me? You're gonna take them there, huh? Best of luck to the both of you. Oh, uh, what do you mean? What are you talking about? No! I don't know where the two of them were taken to, but apparently after that, they were somehow able to pay the full cost of damages for the cars. In return, the Chirais came back completely and shockingly quiet. I'm sorry to get delayed, but I'm really happy that we were all able to do this barbecue together. Isn't that right, Miss Army? Y yes of course, Miss Kana! Oh, please allow me to cook everything, yes! Mr. Hiroshi, please, a wet towel for your hands! Would you like to drink a beer? Thanks. I don't know what happened, but you've both become very kind. You should just relax. <laughs> <laughs> it's so lively and fun, right, Miss Army? We're gonna be friends forever, aren't we? Uh, <laughs> why, yes, of course. We went through a lot because of the Charai family, but it seems like we'll be able to build a good relationship with them moving forward. And also, thanks to this incident, I was able to see a very different side to the quiet Kana, so I'm grateful to the Charai family. Of course, it only made me fall in love with Kana all over again. Thank you for watching all the way till the end. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. And if you have time, please check out our other videos as well. Alright then, see you next time. Bye!